Did you know that this wasn't the original face or voice actor for Tanimura? Hiroki Narumiya was the original likeness and voice actor before quitting and having Toshiki Masuda take over as the new voice and change the Tanimura face to be an original character, aka no likeness. And you might be thinking, well, why the sudden change? Well, in 2016, Hiroki was accused of using cocaine by a popular magazine called Friday. They posted this image claiming that there was a white substance. Personally, I don't see it. Um, it's reaching. Allegedly, a friend of Hiroki's gave this photo to the press as evidence of his drug use. Honestly, to me, it sounds like this friend wanted to screw him over because they also accused him of using weed and ketamine, but Hiroki denies this and says he doesn't even use drugs, which this article claims he may be telling the truth, since they did a drug test and there was no traces of anything. He gave this statement announcing his retirement. I am aware that I was the cause of everything that has happened. I was tricked by several people and was betrayed by a friend whom I trusted with all my heart. In this kind of career, there are things such as sexuality which the people from this industry do not want to expose. I cannot express enough fear, despair, and anxiety which continue to crush me. This is because of the wrong information that is spreading until now. I want to disappear from the entertainment world. Continuing my work in the entertainment industry might cause further inconveniences to other people. There is no way but to leave the industry as soon as possible. Thank you very much for everyone who was involved in making me grow as an actor as well as those who supported me. To the fans who cheered me on, I would like to apologize in leaving the industry this way. I am really sorry. At the same time, thank you very much." So it seems like to me he left due to possibly being hurt by his friend who tried to ruin him for whatever reason, probably financial gain. Uh, that's all I can really think of. There's not much really out there about this, just from articles that I've tried finding and I'll link them down below. But also what struck me as interesting is when he says, in this kind of career there are things such as sexuality which people from this industry do not want to expose. I cannot express enough fear, despair, and anxiety which continue to crush me. It sounds like to me he could possibly be trying to protect himself further due to his sexuality. It's, it's just speculation, right? It's just what he's saying. He mentioned it so it's, there could be something about that, but that's like obviously none of my business. But it does feel like maybe someone knows something about him relating to that, and they wanted to possibly out that. So pretty much this magazine and this unknown friend ruined his career. He didn't want to deal with the stress of it all and decided to just retire. He's still active, but only on Instagram, and he seems to be doing okay, which is really good. Um, I'm glad he's still at least active somewhat, even though it's not in entertainment. Now, for the reason why he was replaced is as simple as Sega needed needed a new voice lines for the Yakuza 4 remaster, and Hiroki retired pretty much out of the public eye, also to avoid any public relations issues surrounding his retirement, so they just went with a new person all together. So I don't think the real reason Sega didn't want, I don't think they, obviously they didn't fire him, he just, he retired. He, he quit before things could get worse for his end, um, which is really sad. It seemed like he had a lot of fans from the comments that I saw, and people were devastated, and they pretty much hated this uh, news outlet Friday for like, pretty much ruining his career. It's pretty sad, uh, but I hope he's well, and obviously this is like no hate to the new voice actor, Tani Mora. Uh, he did really, uh, really well. I like them both. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I gave you some insight on what really happened, and if I missed anything, just let me know. Thank you.